Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to do servo with F446RE. Let's get started with this. The wiring diagram is here. Brown to ground, red to 5 volt, orange to A1. From A1, we're going to send 50 hertz signal to control the servo motor. So 50 hertz signal is something like this. There are tiny pulses. So 50 pulses in one second. That's the 50 hertz. So 50 pulses in 1000 millisecond. So one pulse in 20 millisecond. That's how we got this 20 millisecond. So this 0.5 millisecond to 2.5 millisecond, this is how we control the servo motor. When we zoom in this part here, 0.5 millisecond is this side of the servo motor. 2.5 is the other side, it's like 0 degree, 180 degree. So in the Q by D, we take this one as a thousand counter period belong to 20 millisecond. So we need to calculate the corresponding value for all other uh, millisecond. So, so this is how we're going to put for, for the degree we have to put the corresponding value here. To calculate the corresponding value 20 millisecond is 1000 here. So 1 millisecond is 500. So for 180 degrees it's 2.5 millisecond that is we multiply we get this number. So 90 degree 1.5 millisecond we get 750. 0 degree 0.5 millisecond 250. This value if we put we can control the server. Now suppose if we have a degree like 117 degree somewhere here how to get it. So the way is here 117 degrees here. So 180 degree is 1250 we have to subtract this one that is 1000. So 1 degrees divided by 180 we get 5.56. So 117 degree, we need to add this number to 117 multiplied by this. We get 900. Now we open the cube ID and do the programming. Now I have opened the cube ID. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube ID, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We click file, new, project. Select the board selector, we put F446RE, this one, uh, click next, uh, name servo, finish, yes. Now we can zoom in, uh, go to clock configuration. Uh, this is the clock we're going to use. The APB1 timer clock. This is the frequency. Whatever frequency here, we have to use for the um, PWM signal. So I, I will change this to 180 and enter. So when I change to 180, the timer clock is 90 megahertz. So the 90 megahertz we're going to use for the timer. So go to pinout and configuration go to timers we use timer 2 uh, clock source internal clock internal clock uh, the channel we're going to use channel 2 uh, pw generation channel 2 so pin pa1 is selected so we have connected to the right place. Now go to configuration, pa parameter setting. The prescaler, we're going to divide because the clock speed is 90 megahertz. We need to bring it to 50 hertz. So first we divide by 180 minus 1. So and then for the counter period, we need to keep it to 1000. So, so when you put 1000, sorry, 10,000 minus 1, it will make up to 50 hertz. So I do the calculation here. And now we can click save. Yes. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website. The link is in the description. When we go there, uh, here, we do the with paste this code in the user code begin 2. 
So go to your support begin two in the Q by D. We paste it here. And in the while loop, we put these lines. We put six lines. That's all the code. Now we can click save. Um, so we set that 250 for 0 degree. This is for 90 degree. This is for 180 degree. Now we can click this button to upload the code. Okay. It's done. I have uploaded the code. It's working like this. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.